Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Thanks to Gumi and I'm really sorry because on my video yesterday, I talked bad about you, okay? I thought you not gonna release any new units on this week, but ta-da! Finally, we get new units. It is not Xenogears, but I think it's okay because maybe, this always maybe, next week will be Xenogears week, okay? And yeah, on this week, we get Uriza and Carlet. Okay, so let's talk about Uriza first. She is a buffer. Okay, so right now, only Japan, she is still rated as one of the best buffer. Okay, so she is ranked as number two. Number one is the Sweet Luca or something like that, which just released recently. So if you have Uriza, then she will stay on top for a long time. But remember, Japan doesn't have Zergabot. Okay, I don't say Zergabot is better than her. I will talk about that later on her review video. Now let's focus on her abilities. Okay, so one thing that makes her interesting is she has a good step up banner okay so it is kind of tempting and the best part about her is she able to give all stats buff 170 percent okay that's insane however it is only available via lb and setup okay for setup you need to use attack and magic buff first and then that attack and magic will unlock uh, additional ability that allow you to buff defense and spirit so it is a setup and not available from the first turn so let's talk about her usual in quote buffs her usual buff gives you 130 percent on all stats so this already makes her a little bit okay forgive me i won't use a little bit better okay makes her a better better buffer than microsoft nicole because microsoft nicole only buff you normal skill okay i talk about normal ability not the cooldown normal microsoft nicole buff only gives you 100 percent all stats buff i know i know all microsoft nicole also give you health regen while this is only pure buff but i'm only talking about buff here okay and she's also able to give you damage mitigation because without damage mitigation i must say the buffer is suck so for damage mitigation uriza is really good because she has that 30 percent general mitigation and then 20% physical and 20% magical mitigation. So basically, she is like a more powerful version than Seaside Nicole on the global. And not only that, she also able to grant 3,000 health barriers. So that's a lot, 3,000 guys. Really good. And she also able to give your physical or magical attacker with 50% beast and demon killers which make her a really good offensive support okay and she also able to chain with quake but on this department microsoft nicole is about the same because microsoft nicole able to chain with flood and yeah basically each have their own weaknesses and plus okay so uriza is really good buffer without a doubt okay like you can see 170 percent buff but i think if you already have seven stars buffer like Zargapat, Microsoft Nicol, Sisat Nicol, then I don't think you need her. Okay, maybe maybe she she will be useful on different situation, but I believe okay based on what I see on YouTube video, Microsoft Nicol basically enough on almost every hard trials. Okay but if you still want to pull for her go ahead because she is really good and her trust master reward don't get me wrong it is good but take a look on the effect only 40 percent spirit and 20 percent mp remember that for seven stars character to get their trust ability they need to equip this 
And I think Yuraisa doesn't need spirit stats. Yes, it is good for her survivability, but what? She's not a healer, so why do I need this? Okay, I don't like it. Okay, so I think that's all about Yuraisa. Now let's move to the next character, Carlet. So Carlet here is a hybrid attacker. So on global, we just got Aurora Fravia. So maybe Carlet is not that special, but before you say she is a trash, then please take a look on her abilities, okay? She's not bad, okay? One of her strength is she has lots of chaining move. First, she able to chain with quick hit, okay? So it has innate water element, and she able to uh, she also able to chain with absolute mirror of equity. For that moves, he has thunder and. Win elemental, so she is a good partner for Pyroglacial as well. And of course, Aurel Ray. It is non-elemental hybrid she has, so very good. And she also able to deal fire damage, but it is a finisher attack. So really guys, she is really versat very versatile character. And she also has a very strong finishing move, okay? She has 36 times hybrid as a finisher okay very good and another good thing about her she able to imperil fire wind water and thunder resist by 100 percent whoa that will double your damage output immediately so yeah she is really good hybrid attacker and her trust mastery worth getting an upgrade on the global in the japan she get I mean, the trust master gives you 75% equipment magic. So I believe because they say global upgrade, it will become 100% equipment magic. So basically, yeah, like cloud trust master reward, but it is for magic. Okay. And yes, she also learned strong magics, ja magics. Okay. She has Fira, Water, Wind, and Tundaja, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So very good. Especially if you can utilize that reflect trick, okay? And when the enemy resists against physical attack, I know you can still attack the enemy with physical resistance with hybrid attack, but that's less effective. So this is your answer. Very all round character, really good. But yeah, we have our rough right AV on the global, like I said in the earlier, so it she is not that special. But as an absolute mirror of equity chainer i must say carlet is better because from what i read the damage multiplier is 9.5 and you can also buff it in the battle by 1.5 so 11 times hybrid damage so it is quite good while the aurora fry via absolute mirror equity only deal about 4.5 times so yeah she is better our absolute equity chainer than aurora Freyvia. But I believe the biggest reason to hold back for her is because Akstar gonna come next month. Maybe you say, don't overhype Akstar is not good. Not that good, I mean. Some of you may say that. Yes, I know, but I cannot fight the hype. Okay, it is your call. If you want to get her and you are free to play, then you have less lapis to spend on Akstar banner. And another thing I don't like is because some of her chaining abilities fix on certain element okay that's maybe not that important but it can be good or bad depends on situation for example it will be good on against gilgamesh because you can steal more attack so like i said depends on situation okay so i think that's enough about enough about carlet now let's talk about the four and three stars characters so for Frenis, Frenis is four stars base, and I must say he is really bad. Okay, so he is like poor man's core. Core is four stars base, and he is very old character. So, wow, like I said, they, I mean Gumi, don't even really try to 
give some upgrade or make good four stars okay really really bad you don't need to bother with it but the trust master reward maybe it is better than dash earring for some characters like for some players i mean like me because i think five less attack maybe worth for 10 percent health okay especially blind resist if your physical attacker can be blinded this is a good accessory for them because physical attack rely on accuracy okay but the character himself just did it ditch it okay and the three stars base this one is also same i don't know what's so good about him okay usually three stars are always trace trash i know that but this one is beyond trash okay just take a look on his trash measure assault she mac i don't know how to read that but take a look at the effect okay if i can talk uh, to the character designer i want to ask him what are you thinking when designing this trash measure this is super bad design just take a look attack spirit plus 20 but it gives you silence resist and it is only 50 percent what are they thinking okay usually the one that needs silence resist is bard magician and healer and then why why they need attack stats okay i'm really odd Ugh. and why the silence resist only 50 percent whoa okay simply whoa gumi not gumi okay only basically yeah just simply give something like give maybe blind confused that makes like ribbon for physical attacker not all stats but some important resist for physical attacker okay why they cannot make something like that instead that they make it this this ah, you know what i'm gonna say okay so enough about the character's overview now should you summon in my opinion yes if you still don't have seven stars buffer but i don't okay i believe you my subscribers have at least one seven stars buffer okay in that case i must say stick with your current buffer especially if you are free to play like me that's the logical logical answer okay but take a look on this step up summon this is so damn tempting guys i have seven stars microsoft nicole seaside nicole i have those two characters in if i might if i follow my advice my own advice i shouldn't summon uraisa but oh i I just want to get her I don't know why first yeah her sprite is really cute I mean but yeah I mean I will simply wait until Friday okay but for now I'm I think I'm gonna save 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 because I'm free to play once I spend lapis it takes long time to refresh the amount back okay so Yes, Yurasa is still very good though, but I also, but what I recommend is this, okay, do the step up, it only costs you, by the way, this is if you don't have 7 stars buffer, okay, do the one step up for Yurasa, it only costs you 12,000, like the seed banner, and then wait for 2 weeks and use your UOC to get Yurasa, okay. Or you can even do two step up. It is your pre. It is up to you, okay. But if I follow my own advice, like I said, okay, I do one step up to get Urisa and use UOC. Then I think I may simply use my UOC for Zargabat because really, guys, I love Zargabat because whoa, he's very good in my opinion and yeah i have only i only have one zargabat okay but yeah your eyes is very good so that's all my suggestion okay but one warning 
it is not like I want to always bad mouth about gummy gummy okay but I want simply say beware okay beware gummy is awfully nice okay recently the step up oh my god guaranteed rainbow with five times rate yes if you are unlucky you can still mess up to get some rainbow dudes you don't want but it is very very good step up okay and they have done this from seed banner maybe soon we will get whoa something something really good maybe seno years on next week and akstar on next month okay so yeah think twice thank you very much for watching press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy, Pro FX VS Cut. Bye bye guys.